Hey guys, um, it's my last day in quarantine, but I wanted to do a video for you guys anyway because I was thinking about it and I was thinking um, in the beginning of the hobby what I had problems with and um, I remember I wanted to get like amazing photos because I looked up to so many people in the hobby that took amazing photos so I invested in an SLR and um, I didn't really know how to use it properly so I want to make like a simplified video on how to achieve a great portrait from your doll and um, yeah just a tutorial on taking photos with with your SLR and just um, how to get the picture that you want um, but just very simplified so just the foundations on getting a good picture so yes you can do like props and stuff in the background you can really enhance with like everything play with lighting but this is a very simplified way and I'm showing you from a hotel room as well so I've got a limited amount of light but um, let me just say first that I think having a lens that caters to the kind of photography you want is very important as well for doll photography you need something that's a bit closer so for me anything that's like 30 millimeters and up is really good for doll photography and anything with a, a smaller aperture is really good too so the f-stop is like um with my camera, it's my lens is 30 millimeter and the f-stop is 1.4, so it lets in a lot of light. And so when you do photographs where you want a nice bouquet in the background, it's like it's just it's really beautiful um, and really easy to achieve. So that's my suggestion. But um, I suggest when you take photos as well to try to try to do it on manual because I think when you have more control once you learn how to use it, I know it's like very, very daunting in the beginning, but I promise you that if you learn how to use it, the manual settings will be something that you enjoy. It will definitely make you enjoy taking photos much more. So the fact that you should check your white balance before you take photos too, because that really does contribute to the overall mood of your photograph. I'm going to actually show you guys in a video kind of how I, um, how I take the photos as well and I'm going to show you guys a very simple way of editing. When you let in more light, so when you lower the aperture you also have to make sure you control the shutter so you might want to have like um, a longer shutter speed but this is like, these, these are like foundation things that you can like, um, that you'll figure out just by playing around with your camera so um, I'm just going to show you guys and then yeah I'll show you guys my process for simple pretty portrait of your doll so so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna style her so she looks good so we're gonna fix any flyaways like fix the hair um, just make sure that her eyes are in a good position as well before we take the photo because I think this is really important in getting a good portrait like even fix the clothes if you can um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the light and where it catches her eye. I think this is so important because when you take a portrait of your doll, to have the light in her eyes really brings the doll to life. And also, to show you an example of the aperture, I'm going to use these bottles in the background. You can see the difference in aperture setting between the narrow depth of field and the shallow depth of field and how much better it looks in a portrait with the background blurred with the bouquet. Um, so this is how I start when I edit. First I cropped my picture to what I want to be seen. Um, so I usually do it in a square format because I post it on Instagram. And then I edit the levels. And then I adjust the brightness just a bit because I, I personally prefer brighter photos. And then I sharpen it a bit more. And um, that's probably like the simplest way that I edit. And then I create another layer and an overlay, kind of coloring in with a soft brush on the eyes and on places that I want to kind of bring forward and make look more prominent. So first I blend in the background and then I color the eyes a little bit lighter as well just so it brings it forward in the lips. And then yeah, that's pretty much all I do really. I want to show you guys the difference as well. Well, I hope you guys 
enjoyed the video. I hope I made sense. I hope I was coherent enough. Um, I hope you guys achieve good images. Please share them with me if you guys get good shots as well. Um, if you guys want suggestions for um, for lenses to use for doll photography, let me know as well. Um, just so you know, I'm using a Nikon for my doll photographs at the moment, and it's it's been going great so far. I don't think it really matters, like Nikon, Canon, Leica, even like whatever, like Sony, Sonic, whatever camera you use. Um, it's just all in learning how to use your camera more than what kind of camera you use. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was beneficial to you and I hope it was useful. Um, have a great day. Be well, be happy, and stay safe during COVID. Thank you.